Kaidong. In this video, we're going to talk about how to fix the seal on your sword. Now, what do I mean by that? Ideally, uh, you should be able to turn your sword and it doesn't fall out. Now, if you have the very, very common issue of that happening, uh, what you're actually going to need to do is you're going to add some uh, poplar veneer to the inside of the scabbard. Uh, there's a certain way you can do it. I'm going to do something a little bit weird just because I have a very specific problem with my sword, uh, but that's going to be the idea. Obviously, the main reason for this is going to be for safety, right? If you have an unsealed sword or a pretty loose sword, uh, so first of all, you might have like a clinking sound. Wow, mine doesn't. Uh, a little clinking sound as you move along. Um, and also, like, if you bend over, the sword will come, you know, out of its scabbard on its own. Um, even if you are pretty careful with it, and most of us, especially if you're using our jingum, uh, would be, this is going to be, you know, a major, you know, health issue. So you want to make sure you have a nice sealed sword. And lastly, this is not going to work on the more modern kagum. So it's a problem, right? Uh, but if you have a wooden scabbard, this is going to what you're going to be doing. Uh, it's going to be good for if you train with a yaido, if you use a jingum, or if you use one of the older sagums. All of these are equally good ways of, you know, equally good swords for resealing. If you have a kagum, there's probably a way to do it, uh, but I haven't figured that out yet. So stay tuned. From this incredibly awkward shot, you can probably assume I'm going to try to do some repair work. Uh, so this is going to be ideally smoothing out the inside of you know, the scabbard. Um, I mean, we're going we're gonna to reinforce the inside of the scabbard uh, so that it has a snugger fit. Um, additionally, my particular scabbard, uh, the wood on the inside is actually a little more jagged. So whenever I do draw the sword, it's actually scratching uh, the actual sword, which is not ideal. Uh, so I figured... I might as well just make, uh, show you guys how, how I do that. Um, so things you can kind of tell on the table. So we have obviously wood glue, because we're going to be adding some wood. Uh, there are some uh, files over there that's also going to help uh, just make that transition a little bit smoother. Um, as well as uh, what you can kind of see right next to the glue is going to be um, a veneer of, I'm using poplar. Uh, that's kind of like what's been recommended to me. That's been what I've been using, uh, both for my uh, jingum that you can kind of see, um, as well as I have done some work with this one in the past. Uh, this is going to be a relatively, <laughs> like, um, just like, this is just what I do um, video. Obviously, there are going to be, you know, other folk out there who can do this, like, with, you know, fancy zoom-ins and stuff like that. Uh, but if you're used to me and my shenanigans, you might as well kind of just make, make a day of it, right? Uh, so this is obviously going to take a few, uh, take a hot minute to do, uh, but let me just show you what's up. Do, do, do. Right, so as you can probably tell, if I simply tilt the sword, it comes loose, right, uh, which is not ideal. Uh, you can probably also tell uh, that I did a lot of my own work on this, so the scabbard itself actually shattered at one point. Uh, so I actually add this uh, ox bone, as well as this cord, to kind of just reinforce that. Um, However, um, my issue is actually going to be on the inside of the scabbard. So let's, let's get to that, right? So, do do do. Right. I'm going to gently put this sword off the side. Uh, let me actually kind of see if you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. Where is it good? So you can kind of maybe see in the, maybe you can't. We'll see. You can kind of see it like in the weird shimmering, uh, actually that straight line going through like the center and that's also near the, the edge. You kind of see there's some heavy duty scratching. Um, and that's also mostly just me <laughs> um, not being the, not as, um, keeping up to it as much as I probably should be. So, uh, you see my problem. Uh, this is actually already after I sh uh, shaved down the inner portion inner portion in here. You can maybe kind of see if I focus. That's not focusing. Sort of that's focusing. Uh, you can kind of tell there's a little bit of wear in there. Uh, now usually you don't want to add uh, the veneer to the inside of the scabbard, uh, to the sides. Uh, you can kind of notice I did add some to the very bottom in the past. I probably need to remove that. Um, however, you can kind of tell like the sides here are quite worn down from all their use, uh, so I'm going to do something with that. Thank you. 
All right, so I smoothed out the inside of the scabbard a little bit. I'm going to try to remove my old, so you can maybe see, so I'll probably stand up and see, right? So you can kind of tell I have a little bit of my own stuff on the inside. I'm going to try to remove that so we have a little bit of a fresh piece. Um, not sure if that's necessary, but we're going to do it, right? So I'm just going to professionally pry it. And potentially regret my life as Al regret my life decisions. Okay, so I sanded out most of the stuff on the bottom. What I'm actually gonna do is, you can kind of see what I'm working with, is so this is poplar. So this is a poplar veneer. Uh, I'm actually gonna be adding this whole thing onto the side. Again, this is not something that's recommended, so I don't wanna make a video of it, but that's okay. Uh, so this is mostly gonna be added because of the really bad um, raggedness on the side. And if this doesn't work out, I'll let you guys know. So you can, Kind of, I guess, enjoy um, the time, right? In case you didn't know, you should probably shake your wood glue before you actually use it because you get a weird viscous goo otherwise. Now, is this going to be recommended? Probably not. However, I'm going to add the sword back in and use that as the brace. Okay, I need a way for me to have that safer. What I might do is keep this here. So there's that. I feel like that's not as solid as I need it to be. But we'll come back in a little bit and kind of see what is, as they say, up. So a quick update. So I just finished that so you can kind of tell that it's looking quite nice all the way in there. So notice it is a little bit further past this portion. So what I'm going to do next is actually going to uh, file this down along the side. Right, just take a file literally just going this way uh, to smooth that entrance out. And what I might do is add a little bit down, uh, down the center that way as well. All right, I guess to show you an update, you can kind of take a look at the inside of that. So I obviously severed the inside here, did a little bit of um, sanding along the sides. You can kind of see it's actually nice and, you know, <laughs> flat that side. So now we're going to actually do the main thing that's usually recommended is actually put a piece on the very bottom there that's going to help you have a little bit stronger seal. Uh, so let's take a look. So as with last time we're going to be using again a piece of poplar. Now obviously we don't need this whole whole piece. The main thing is we're going to want something that's going to be as long or as wide as uh, the, the divot on the very bottom. Uh, again it's usually recommended to put on the bottom here not on the top here because that's going to actually like when you seal, it's actually going to pull the scabbard open a little bit. So we're just going to choose. So it's actually okay if it's a little bit longer because it's actually easier to remove uh, pieces of this. So you can kind of see what I mean by that. Like just because it's, again, it's, it's wood, 
you can literally see it's already flaking this way, so I could literally just pull it out. Because if we try to cut it not along the edge this way, kind of like what we have here, it might actually be a little bit of like fracturing and stuff like that. I'm actually going to try to break it along its seam here and pull it open. Like so. Now obviously you might have some fraying like there, but try to keep it nice and even. But the process is going to be pretty easy. All we're going to do is have um, a fair amount of glue on the inside, making it, um, uh, hydrating this a little bit so it's a little bit easier to bend without cracking it, because that cracking is not going to be good for the sword either. Or back, right? So we want probably a little bit of wax paper around. So the last time I actually just shoved this in without any regard and there's a little bit of glue. I just want to make sure we're good or my sword will be mad at me again. So let's try this, right? So I'm going to be incorporating it. I can Try to keep note of that. Now all you need to do is as much as you can safely uh, because you will be sanding this down more. All right, so as we do that, uh, so that should be pretty good. Notice you can still see a little bit of the wood. I'm just gonna let that set for a goodly amount of time. And then we will take a look at this probably <laughs> either later today or uh, tonight. More of a progress report. All right, so uh, wax paper, good idea, <laughs> right? Um, let me show you what's up. So now you'll be able to tell that, so the main thing I'm curious about is like this bottom portion here, notice it's not cracked there. I did crack along the sides and along here as well. So what I'm actually gonna do is depending on actually how my sword is feeling, I'm gonna try to remove uh, the edges, right, so with an X-Acto knife or something like that. I'm going to sand down the inner portion here so it's a smoother transition. And actually I might keep this depending on uh, how solid the grip will be. So let's do that. Right, so you can kind of see, so notice it's a little bit more smoothed out on the inside, right? Uh, so notice that there's a little bit of overlap there, but I tried to sand down uh, the two pieces. So let's actually have the moment of truth. Now notice that there's a little bit of a gap there, so I'm going to sand it down a little bit more. But this is the exact um, result I was actually kind of hoping for. Uh, so notice again, it is sealed, but again you can still break that seal easily. So it just needs a little bit more sanding, uh, but that's going to be the idea. And there we have it, right? So again, the end result, you can probably tell by my... <laughs> What I was wearing is actually filmed this after already, you know, resealed the sword. Um, but again, ideally, you should be able to invert the sword, even give it a little bit of a you know vigorous shake, and it should not you know come loose. Um, now, if you, in case you're curious, because I think it's the first time you actually get a close up of my training sword, 
Uh, this is actually fractured. Uh, that's partially one reason why there's going to be like scratches on the actual sword itself, uh, because the wood broke. Um, so two things to note, uh, there are ways obviously to fix it, right? So I use um, leather um, binding as well as a new uh, mouth opening. So this is uh, made from ox bone. Um, and also, don't rename your swords without their permission because then they will shatter. I'm sure there's a story in there, but eventually. Um, but that's the idea, right? So, um, so with that, so obviously if you have this issue, start soft, right? So if you want to just like have a single layer uh, sand it down until it's you know nice, you know, just right. So you don't want to do too much at once because then you actually will damage your scabbard. So don't have like a full veneer cram it in there just to shatter the scabbard. Don't do that. Uh, so make sure you are you know careful with how much you are applying. If it feels like it's going to be too snug of fit, uh, make sure you obviously sand it down. Uh, but with that, uh, make sure you stay safe, stay humble, and keep training and give this a go in case that's your issue. I don't.